kids, welcome back to our video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed last week's recap of weeks one through six through rec. Those were some of our best moments that we enjoyed as a team. We wanted to share those with you. But this week, we're going to dive in to weeks number seven through 12. We're going to show you our favorite moments from Wrecked. But also, just want to give you a quick reminder, we have a new series that is starting very soon called Treasure Seekers. All right, guys, we're going to be handing out our packages to you guys in these next few weeks. And if you are in need of a package, feel free to email us in the email down below and we will send you a package if you're part of our online community. But if you've been joining us in person, you should get a package on Sunday when you join us. If not, again, we will send that to you. But it's gonna be great. That next series is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be 15 weeks, so get ready to have some fun. But I want you guys to enjoy this video, our favorite moments from Wrecked, week seven through 12. Go check it out. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Battle Royale. I'm here yeah. with my assistant, Roman, and yeah. you know me, Game Master Kalito. We have a special, special game for today. We are calling this the Skill Challenge Game. So, yeah. there is a lot of things that are gonna happen, and I'm gonna break it down for you right now. So going to start off with one of your champions or captain shooting a free throw. They're going to shoot. If they make the free throw, boom, 25 points. Then what they're going to do is they're going to try to score a penalty kick on the best goalie in the planet, Sophia. You see her? Champion. They're going to shoot, try to score a penalty shot. If they make it in. 50 points. 50. 50. Then your captain is going to step on the half court circle and try to receive a football catch. And if they catch it, they get 35 points. Now this is the best part. The final point for this skill challenge is they have to throw a dodgeball at my assistant here. Now look at my assistant here. If you hit him on the head, your team will get an easy 100 points. If you hit his arms, 
you get 50 points. If you hit the chest down, that is 25 points. Now, if you hit the waist down to the toes, that is another 50 points. So, we're really going to see who is the master of the skills. So, it's not about time, it's not about speed. It's all about accuracy and seeing who can get the most points. It's gonna be a close one, but we are going to start off with the orange captain. Are you guys ready? Let's get it. Here we go, orange team doing the skill challenge on my whistle. First round, give it up for your orange captain. Killed it, did great, but we still have more captains. And will they hit Roman's face? Let's find out. On to the next. Here we go. We got green team here, ready to take on the skill challenge. Green team, on my whistle. No shot. Tony kick. On my whistle. No shot. Football catch. Caught. Now, shot on throw on my whistle. Lower waist. 50 points. Give it up for your green captain. Now, we're still waiting to see if Roman gets hit on the head. We still have two captains left. Make sure you're cheering on and let's go to the next round. Yeah. Okay, we are here with blue team. Next skill challenger, here we go. On my whistle. No shot, suddenly kick. On my whistle. No goal. Football catch. Bringing you guys some points, but we still have one more captain. Do you think Roman is gonna get hit in the face? We're yeah. gonna find out. Let's go to the final captain. Okay, the final captain here, Team Red. The final skill challenger, here we go. On my whistle. Good. Penalty kick on my whistle. No goal! Football catch! No good. Dodgeball throw on the white line. On my whistle. Upper chest! Alright, life changers, kids. That is all for the skill challenge. No one was able to successfully hit Roman in the head, which nope. means no one got 100 points, but me and Roman are going to count up the scores right now, and we're about to tell you who the winner is in one second. Yeah. These scores have been counted, and we have the winner. Can we get a drum roll? The winner for the skill challenge is green team! We're gonna call up Elijah once again. 
Guys, green team has won the past three weeks and Elijah is the winner. They scored a total of 85 points. That was from the volleyball catch and hitting Roman on the lower waist. So you killed it, Elijah. Once again, we're gonna interview you. We're gonna pick that brain of yours. What were your thoughts going into this? What were your strengths? What were your weaknesses? And where did you felt like you failed and you should have succeeded? Well, there were a couple of places where I feel like I could have made it, mm. but I was a little short. He was a little short. You have the basketball, short, soccer shot, short, but you did great on the other end. So great job, green team. Guys, green team has been on a tear. Can anyone stop them? We don't know, no. but there's still much of the battle royale to cover. And your green team, you guys just got 85 points. And the good thing is that every single team today gets points. Yeah. That is great. Yeah. So be happy for your captains. Make sure you keep on cheering them on. We'll update you guys on the leaderboard. But green team, 85 points, solid. No one could have hit Roman Incredible. in the face. I'm sorry about that. But that's all we have for the Battle Royale this week. We'll see you guys next time. Phenomenal. Okay, what's next? 
Mm. Okay, so it has between these two, right? Okay. He loves you. 
He's not mad at you. He's not judging you. You are his favorite. And you need to remember that. We're imperfect and we blow it, just like this woman in Luke 7. But when we blow it, we can come boldly back to Jesus and we can know that he forgives us, he cleanses us from our sins, he will, takes it all away like it never happened. So boys and girls, when you're feeling guilty, when you feel like you've blown it, all you gotta do is go back up to Jesus and know that you are forgiven and that you're his favorite. And you're my favorite too. I love you guys, I'll see you soon, bye bye. Ooh. Welcome back to Survival Training. Captain Courage here, still on Wrecked Island. So, today I decided that I need to continue to try and get off of this island and work a little harder than I have before because obviously nothing is working for me. So, I was thinking back to my days in the uh, Girl Scouts a long, long time ago, and one thing that we were taught was called Morse code. Now, you might be thinking, what is that? I've never heard of that before. Well, I'm going to explain to you. So, right here, you can see our Morse code alphabet, okay? Basically, it's a bunch of lines and dots that represent different letters, okay? So, one way that you can show these dots or dashes is by using light. So, I have my trusty flashlight here, and as you can see, uh, the letter S is represented by three dots, okay? So that would mean that I would turn my flashlight on three times, okay? And since I'm trying to say SOS, uh, the letter O is represented by three lines. So that just means that I hold the light on a little longer than I did for the dots, okay? So an O would look like this. One, two, three. Okay, and then another S. One, two, three. See that? So the dashes are a little longer than the dots, but it's very important on how long you hold it down so you make sure that you're communicating a dot or a dash. And you can spell any word like this. So again, I'm trying to get off. So I'm going to see if I can signal anybody to try and get me off of here. Um, let's see. Oh. There's a storm rolling in. Maybe they'll be able to see my light a little better. Okay, let's try this. You ready? SOS, here we go. One, two, three, then O, two, three, and then another S. One, two, three. Okay, well, let's hope that worked. Let's hope somebody saw that, but one thing before I leave, I want to ask you all a question. That question is, what is one way that you can be free from shame? I want you to think about that, and after today's video, I hope that you guys have an answer. So I'm going to go around the island and try and do this somewhere else, so maybe somebody else will see me, okay? Bye. This is it, Rocco. I'm going to be rich. You mean we... Right? Oh, of course, Rocco. We finally found the treasure. Thanks to some help from those annoying kids and that know-it-all tour guide. Who knew we were going we the wrong direction it. the whole time? I guess those kids are useful. Now that I think about it, they're actually kind of smart. They almost got the treasure to themselves. But they didn't. We stopped them just in time. I thought the treasure would be marked with an X, though. There's nothing here but dead flowers and sadness. I think that's the point. Uh, whoever hid the treasure didn't want it to be too easy to find, so they put this little tree. And you're sure the treasure is here? And this just isn't another trap? Of course I'm sure. I'm going to cool off in the shade for a little bit. Yell if you need me. Okay. Fine. Hmm. <gasps> I got something! Not so fast! Um, you again? And you risked not the point. You're mean, Kyra, and you're definitely not getting this treasure set. Is that so? Yeah, that exactly is so. Well, I'm not gonna let any of you have it. This is my island, so the treasure is rightfully mine. Says who? Says me! 
me. I've already found the treasure, so there's nothing that you can do about it. Well, since we're all here, why don't we split it? Share my treasure? I'm a pirate, we don't share. Well, Adelsie has done a lot of digging already. We can help you finish the digging, so the treasure, everybody wins. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Well, I am pretty tired, and it would be nice to have some help. And I'm sure you don't want to pass out in this desert. It's kind of hot out here. Is this some kind of trick? No. No. We just want what's best for everyone. Yeah. Why are you being nice to me? I kidnapped Xandra and I tried to talk you guys out of finding the treasure. We believe in a god who does not hold our mistakes against us. So we won't do that to you. Hmm. Well, I guess I could use your help. And you'll share the treasure? <sighs> yes, I'll share the treasure. Yes. <gasps> At last, I've waited so long for this moment! Oh my god! What are you waiting for? Open it! Yeah! Oh, oh right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, relax. That's, That's it. it! Where's all the gold and the overflowing coins? Where's all the jewels? The treasure and the diamonds and the rubies and stuff. What? This is a disgrace! This is not treasure! What? That's cool, but. We got shipwrecked I... for this? Oh. And we went through alligators! For this! Ugh. I lost my adventure pack, and I have nothing to show for this adventure. What am I gonna do with shaving cream? Um, this this has to be a joke! <laughs> I was certain that this is where the treasure was, and then I find this? I mean, I am so disappointed right now. What are you laughing at? Isn't it funny we came all this way just to find shaving cream? No, I, it's not. I don't no. see the joke here. We we came all this way to get shaving cream. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. This one's empty. I still don't see the joke. It's, 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 it's not. It's not annoying. It's, I hate Maybe the prize or whatever it was supposed to be wasn't whatever was supposed to be in this box, like gold, but the adventure it took to get here. I'm not sure. That's, that's I mean, through everything we did, we had to depend on each other and trust each other. We went through a number of different crazy areas on this island. A swamp, a volcano, quicksand, a cave. Yeah. Exactly. And it made us depend on each other through those areas. We learned how to encourage each other and to control our emotions, and especially when we're God's word. Well, I still don't see your point at all. Right now, we're all disappointed about the church. Yes. Yeah. In Genesis yes. 27, Isaac tells his firstborn son to cook him a meal before he dies. Okay, what does that um, have to There's a lesson coming. Isaac's wife hears this and tells her other son to cook it and take the blessing. Okay. You're talking about Jacob and Esau, aren't you? I yes. Two sons. Yes, I am. Yes, Esau was an older son and Jacob was younger. Because Isaac was slowly dying and he couldn't see very well, Jacob was able, was able to trick Isaac. So he stole the blessing from his older brother. And when Esau found out, he was disappointed and angry. I'm feeling the same way too, to be honest. But I feel like we've wasted our time here. But it's not a waste of time. We may have not got jewels or gold, but we gained wisdom and knowledge. So how does the story end? Please tell me that Esau somehow gets the blessing back from his brother. No, no, no. Esau is really angry and plans to kill his brother. And so his mother sends Jacob away from home, far away, okay. far, far and away. And then Esau gets the blessing back from Jacob. No. Actually, Jacob and Esau see each other again years later in Genesis 32. By then, Esau has forgiven Jacob, and they're happy to see each other again. Okay, all right. But how does that solve our problem here? I'm still disappointed and angry about this stupid thing that we dug up. Even though Esau was upset about having his blessing stolen, God calls him to have an amazing life, and eventually got to see his older brother again. And he learned that God wants us to trust in his goodness, even when other people disappoint us. Okay, so you're saying there is a real treasure somewhere. Is that all you care about? I'm a pirate, of course that's all I care about. I still feel disappointed, but it helps to know that I can believe that God has something good for us. We have to wait for him to give it to us. Yeah, me too. I told you there's a lesson coming. Okay, well, in that case, I've got to review my clues and go over my map again to find where this real treasure is because this is not cutting it. I refuse to believe that this is it. May God lead me to the right treasure. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Wow. <laughs> okay. What a crazy afternoon. Crazy is an understatement. I can't believe that the treasure is a bottle of shaving cream. Honestly. 
Maybe we could use this to draw faces on the trees. Wait, that minute. wouldn't be smart. Wait, Not at all. Wait a minute, what is that? What? what? Ew, did somebody leave their gum in here? Ew. No. Wait, there's a note in here. Hooray, you found the snickerdoodle treasure. Unlock the shaving cream to find the key. Congratulations. We've come to rescue you. Better. You can leave her. She's the one who got us into this mess. We're circling now. We'll be right back to get you. I guess this is where I say my goodbye. You're not coming with us? No. You guys got what you came for, so... But, well, what about you? Well, this is my home, so... But the treasure, you helped us find it. Yeah. You didn't need me, kiddos. You had everything you needed each other, and your faith in God. You're all set. Well, I can't say I want to come back to this island, but I sure will miss you. Yeah, we made me this adventure a lot more fun. I don't know what we'd do without you. Oh, well, be careful with your new treasure, and don't forget your adventure fear. Wait! <laughs> Thanks, kiddos. Well, that's all right. We don't want to miss it. Yeah. Down here! Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed our recap from 7 to 12. Really good. Those are just some of our favorite moments as a team. Some of our favorite videos that we like week by week. Super cool. But let us know what some of your favorites were. Maybe there was a game that stood out the most that you guys loved. Or maybe there was a game that you guys played. Or a craft or a cooking segment that you guys enjoyed. Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you guys what your favorite was. But again, get ready for our next series called Treasure Seekers. Which starts next Monday on October 18th. But if you're going to be with us in the room on October 17th for Sunday. We have our packages ready for you guys to take home get started for our new series. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Again, if you need a package and you're part of our online community, just email us in the email below. We will send it to you and we will get started. The series is going to be great. We're going to have so much fun. I'm stoked. I'm excited. we got new segments. It's going to be amazing. But we will see you guys this Sunday in person here at 1030 a.m. If not, stay with us online and we'll see you guys very, very soon. You guys are the best.